guys, this is Jody TV. I'm here with a little review for Attack on Titan. I know it's a different surrounding. I'm not in my house, but I really wanted to make this really quick. Um, there was a so much shit went down. This like I'm slightly tired, so bear with me. But I really want to do it as right after I watched it, cause I feel like if you do a review right after you watch it, that's when, like, that's the best time to do a review. So I pretty much. I mean, I'm in love <laughs> with this series. Um, I think so far for the spring animes that have come out, it's definitely like my favorites would probably be Tag on Titan, oh, Tag on Titan, then um, what's it called? Devil Survivor and Carnival, because those are definitely my favorite. Like the other ones are good, but they're they don't go up to this anime's level. Attack on Titan was amazing. It started out as he was just like in this village, and people were just saying, oh, "Yeah, right. This will never be attacked by a Titan because in the past, um, Titans end up ruling, and they end up killing most of the population except for like certain people." A uh, hundred years later, which is when this anime takes place, pretty much they're just like, "Yeah, right. So shit hasn't happened for a hundred years because of the wall. Highly doubt it will ever happen again." All of a sudden, shit just got real, and Pretty much in this ep shit just got real in this episode. It was so much shit that went down. Um, there was so pretty much he wants to be a part of the Recon Nation. I mean, fours, which pretty much just gets pretty much just tries to exterminate and go to the outside of those walls that's been protecting them for a hundred years. And and pretty sorry about that pause. Um, and pretty much just stopping them from attacking the inside just you know try to decrease the population of these titans slash giants all of a sudden um hundred years later pretty much people are pretty much in the calm don't think anything will happen and they all this super huge giant comes in out of nowhere and just like people are shocked but he ends up like gripping a hole in the wall no giant has been able to do that giant slash titan has been ever able to do that so that's one thing what that really astonished everybody and all of a sudden oh sorry about that um all of a sudden all these other giants came in and pretty much their town is like doomed it's it's pretty insane and we end up leaving this episode on his mother dying pretty much getting eaten it was blood everywhere insane as shit R Alright, so now let's get down with my review. I'm not as passionate in this review, but I am trying to become kind of tired. As you can tell, it's nighttime and I'm slightly tired, but whatever, bear with me. Um, I would definitely say this is 10 out of 10. Uh, for one, you got you see the characters and what they value the most. Uh, two, you got to see the the episode was very founded out well. You got to see like characters and how about them and their personalities. You got to see the the progression of this episode was amazing. I don't know. And the way that it ended was even better. And the cliffhanger it left us on was like I hate to admit it but it was spectacular. Um usually I hate cliffhangers but it was like a good kind of cliffhanger. You really want to see what happens and how this guy gets revenge on the Titans that killed his mom. And because you pretty much, he saw them getting eaten. It's insane to think about that. If I knew that were you and your mom just, you saw your mom getting eaten by a giant. I know that's really unrealistic, but come on, that's insane shit. Uh. So pretty much I really like this episode. I think everything was perfect about this episode. It couldn't have been anything better, which is why I give it a 10 out of 10, obviously. And I can't wait till the next episode to see what happens and how this um, the main character progresses to more and more stuff. I think this anime has a lot of potential. I think it could be it could be doing a lot. The animation is different from most animes, which and that's I also let, like that about this anime. It's not like a bad animation. It's a good animation. It's kind of cool. 
kind of like the Walking Dead mangas. I don't know if you've seen any of them, but it kind of looks like that kind of animation. I know it's weird to say that, but it's whatever. Alright, well, this is pretty much all I have to say about um, Attack on Titan Episode 1. I really hope you enjoyed this review. Nobody else have a great day. Um, remember to subscribe to see more of this beautiful face. Uh, like if you really enjoyed this video and liked it. And I hope and leave your comments in the comments down below how you feel. Alright, well, this is Joji. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'm out.